Thank new you. data published recently in the Journal of the American Medical Association suggests the COVID-19, and we're talking about weight gain here, is something many of Americans have experienced. The average person gained about one and a half pounds per month during the lockdown last spring. Do you think it's still a problem, even though many people are back in the office, back to more normal ro routines? Absolutely. I think that when we think it's just about physical activity, we simplify this disease that is obesity. What we do know is that when we look at the CDC maps here in the United States, that the rates of obesity have continued to rise since 1980. So just looking at this change in activity won't have huge implications as it relates to our weight and weight status. We have to think about the complexity of this disease, which looks at things like diet and physical activity, but also stress, which we know is at an all time high, particularly during the unvaccinated portion of the pandemic. But we're still experiencing a lot of the stress right now. And so we're going to continue to see weight rise. OK, and we know the number on the scale can fluctuate. So how much is too much? Is there like a percentage that would cause concern? You know, I think it varies from person to person. When I'm working with patients, I like to tailor their experience to themselves. I only compare their weight to themselves. And I think that's extremely important for us to do when we're thinking about weight and weight regulation. However, there's different things that can trigger weight gain. And so if you're seeing a constant rise without any stabilization, I would say that that's area of concern, particularly if you don't understand what the reasons are. And that would be the time to seek out the care of an obesity medicine physician to really help hone in on what is the cause and then how do we stop that significant weight gain that you might be experiencing. We're wondering, are some groups more vulnerable to weight gain than others? Absolutely. When we look at racial and ethnic minority populations here in the United States, what we do know is that we have a higher prevalence of obesity, particularly in the non-Hispanic Black population followed by the Latinx population. We don't get a chance to see the data from the native population, but we know they also struggle with obesity at disproportionately high rates. And the reasons for that are complex. Um, one of the key issues that we note is, for example, within the Black community, racism, which increases stress. That increases the storage of adipose, which is fat tissue in the midsection, and it can cause worsened outcomes with other cardiometabolic diseases like diabetes, for example. Stress is evil for sure. Some, for some people who suddenly find themselves battling the COVID-19, 19 pounds, will they have an easier time losing the weight if they start now, like before the body adjusts to extra pounds? Does, does that happen, the adjusting? Well, I think that unfortunately, I think you had a great question. Um, unfortunately, at this point, they probably have already adjusted to that weight. I would say within a few two to three months, usually your body gets used to a new set point. So the brain defends our weight. And so we want to be thoughtful about what the brain is doing to defend the weight. Um, and so I would say you want to tackle it as soon as possible. The sooner, the better. But I would say, unfortunately, let's say you started to gain weight back in March of 2020, which is really the beginning of this pandemic. Um, you probably have noticed that you you know, you've shifted up and you're just at a new set point than you were prior to the pandemic. Now it's time to take action because we know it can just continue to worsen over time as, as we just continue to, to navigate a lot of stressors in our life. Certainly very good advice. All right, Dr. Stanford, a specialist in obesity medicine at Mass General Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me.